find collecting and arranging flowers a wonderfully relaxing activity when I get home from work. And I love to see how the flower combinations change with the seasons. Uh, in the spring, we have a great diversity and I find clematis to be one of those beautiful bold flowers to put in arrangements. And the vines can be cut at different lengths to make it very easy for arranging. Another really large flower for arrangements are the peonies. In our garden here, we have the Ito peony, and the delicate flowers just add such grace to an arrangement. I like to combine large flowers and finer textured flowers. This is Jupiter's beard or Centranthus, and it produces these large clusters of tiny pink flowers that just look beautiful uh, and complement the larger flowers like our clematis. We can also look to fine foliage such as we might find on our yarrow. Of course, yarrow eventually will bloom and provide beautiful flowers, but in the meantime, we can utilize that beautiful foliage. A less common flower that also makes a, a beautiful cut flower and has graceful foliage for an arrangement is Baptisia or false indigo. And of course, there's a variety of species uh, from yellow to blues to a dusty uh, purple gray. Uh, and as I mentioned, the foliage is kind of silvery blue and adds a very nice delicate balance to an arrangement. Another less common flower would be the allium, and there are many different varieties of allium, some with great big giant heads that just look very striking in an arrangement. I've even seen people spray paint the heads after they've lost all their blooms just to continue using that really unique architecture. A vase of Siberian irises can stand alone. These graceful flowers have bold color and beautiful architecture. Well, these just are a few of the many flowers that you can collect from the garden and bring indoors. Be creative and experiment with new materials every day.